Ara, ara. Farts are funny. Why are my ears down? Hello, guys. Hello. Hola. I'm I'm a mess. Hello. Hi, Small. I'm trying to en encroach upon the Europeans, much like my Viking ancestors. I'm invading. I don't have my glove. I'm a mess right now. I have like six notebooks on my desk. Rodigus ate my charging cable. I can't find my... I accidentally turned my mic off and all that flailing. You couldn't hear anything I was saying. Okay. Anyway, I said I've been up for hours and I've just been trying to get shit together and I've been trying to do... I can smell her through the phone. Why are you guys being so mean to me? Good morning. Good morning! Hello. Um... <clears throat> <laughs> What's up, dude? You guys are so mean to me. You guys, you guys woke up and chose violence today. It's fucking violence. Anyway, um, today we're gonna be working on the Fubi comic, which I know a lot of people thought I totally forgot about, but no, I've been having extreme anxiety about it for about a year now. So we're actually, I have time. We're gonna work on it. So, um, I do have, like, comic panels and stuff, so, like, this isn't, like, uh, oh my god, she hasn't even started on it. I'm just working on character designs right now because, um, I have to actually, like, draw the same characters over and over again, and I'm, like, realizing that having, like, a flat, like, reference for myself would be the best process to do that. SpongeBob the D. You know what? I mean, speaking of references, I closed Pinterest. I have, I have, I also have a bunch of references from the Fubert, so let me get those pulled up. Um, you know, it's weird, a lot of the references I have are on the looters. <laughs> They're on the looter side, thanks Fooby. Thanks Fooby. I have... Open. Okay, there we go. The boss is watching. Oh no, she's here. Hi, boss. I got some pics of cutting boards if you need some new references. Booby, have you talked about this at all? Have you talked about the premise or anything? I don't want to spoil if, if I don't have to, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want to spoil. Okay, so we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do some sketches of, like, the main character, I think, is the plan. I have not. Maybe I will one day. Oh, so I should just tell them nothing about it? Is that the plan? What song is this? Uh, it was... Where or When by Benny Goodman. These are all Benny Goodman. Mm, yes, great marketing. I know. Do whatever you want. Not like anyone watches anyway. What the fuck? Why are you being mean now? Why is everyone being so mean to me? What the hell? Jesus. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna do some uh, drawing here. 
Well, thank you, Prince, cause dang, I need some niceness here. Everyone's being so mean. Try some boobers. I don't know what I've done to deserve this level of like aggression, but damn. You know what? If Fubi's not gonna hype it, I'm gonna hype it. I'm just gonna tell people about it, I think. Guess what? I just found. I had almost a quart of coffee. Damn! Then why are you so mean? There's no reason for you to be uh mean as shit. I really wish I had my glove. I really do. This textured pen is is whack. Coffee makes me pissy? Like you piss a lot? Or like you're angry? Aw, uh, smoking bad. So we're just gonna draw some some tootsies. I wanna tell them stuff about it, Fubi. I need I need permission for you to tell me that it's okay, because I <laughs> I don't wanna pull another tell them too much and then Fubi get mad at me and then say things. Alright, guys. She said, you guys saw another yeah, I know. No, well, I mean, I, I mean, I'm not going to tell everybody, I'm not going to say it out loud, but the, the thing, the thing with the guy that, <laughs> what, remember when I talked too much when we first joined the Cabal? Remember? Oh, <laughs> I really get at talking too much, guys. That's a thumb. Thumbs go on the inside, right? Yeah, thumbs go on the inside. Oh, she yapping. Yeah, okay, so guys, guys, can I get, uh, does any of the mods want to put up a poll? Are any of the mods able to put up a poll for me, just for funsies? Do you think Fubi's comic is going to be serious, or do you think it's going to be a meme? Hello, Kiwi, <laughs> professional yapper. It's all I can do! <laughs> you have to miss Prime. Meme. One of the mods would be able to don't know. <laughs> Are you guys doing on the Yu-Gi-Oh card thing? Dang, you're past 50%. Can't do a poll on mobile. I don't know if Commissar's on mobile or not. On it. Thank you, sir! All right, well, that neck that neck do be long here. Let's uh, let's uh, let's crank that down here a little bit. Serious or meme? Yup, we just want to know if people think Fubi's comics gonna be serious or a meme. All right, so we got like a front-ish turn. Let's do a side turn, maybe. Where find playlist? It's on. Um, I'm using Spotify. I just uh, it's it's. Can I share it? Share, copy link to playlist, and then I can just dump it in Discord. I'll put it in V's music posting, since I've only ever used that like once or twice. There you go. There you go. moving that head for real for real okay so we're gonna do oh no no go back dang i tried <laughs> tried his bestest yearly <laughs> music post look i can't make i can't be as good as fubert with the with the um the things all right everyone vote and meow if you think fubi's comics gonna be serious writing or a meme I'm curious. I have curiosity in my veins. I think she have a butt. Hello, Shiro. Long time no see. Oh man, sideways, sideways people's hard. Got to give them like a little bit of a stomach situation thing going on here. This is music I dance and clean. Man, I keep forgetting you're like a seven-year-old woman, Goose. 
Sorry, I shouldn't dox you. That's kind of fucked up. Gross, small. That's really gross. Why? Why would you even say that? Why would you put that out into the ether? Why would you even let that exist? You said tummy situation. That doesn't mean pregnant, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Everyone's got a tummy. I don't know. It must be breed. I mean, let's see. The rut should be starting soon, right? With deer. It's almost deer season. The rut should be starting soon, so. It does when my chat talks about me. No. <laughs> what the fuck? You are going to say breed. I'm just saying that it's it is breeding season for deer. That's all I was saying. That's what I was trying to tell you. What? It is the when okay, in my area, the rut is breeding season for deer. Many people can confirm. Ba -la 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 -la. <laughs> Let's see, how do you, how does one draw hands? Where's thumb? Thumb should be in the front, right? Yeah, thumb? Yeah, thumb. Don't worry. I snapped her wrist. I broke it right the fuck off. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Who needs a wrist? Skin mittens, that's how. Oh man, meme is winning out. A uh, booty. Nah, the deer are already fucking around here. I can tell the, the oh the does. I was like the does is moving. I was like, how can you tell? How does one know? <laughs> I've actually seen a lot of deer moving around here too, which is kind of weird. I live in the city. Like I don't live in the country. I don't live in the Nort Woods like I used to. I'd vote, but I can't. Well, what what's your vote, Gato? You tell me. Meme. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Goose be smelling the deer pee. The estus. The estrus. Is that what they call it? Estrus? Did I ever tell you guys about the time that my dad bought, like, deer urine bait stuff? Okay, so, like, for those who don't know, like, when you go deer hunting, you can buy... I don't know if it's actual deer pee or if it's just stuff that smells like deer pee. <laughs> it's because I'm awake. I'm not sleepy. This is way more cursed than usual. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. So, like, I think, I don't think it's actual deer pee, but I don't know for sure. I think it just is supposed to smell like deer pee. Anyway, my dad bought some to use as, like, bait to attract the bucks, right? Because they smell the girl pee, and then they want the girl, right? Very Ken-like. Very demure. <laughs> Poor Ken's not even here to, like, protect himself anyway he bought this bottle and then he was like it's really strong and he like hands it to me and i'm like oh yeah and then like i give it back because i don't want apparently it's sticky and uh yeah so apparently it's sticky i don't know i i hand it back and then he like opens it up and i guess he was gonna like put it on his boots or something to like cover up the scent of his boots and, like, it slipped out of his hands, and then, like, he did one of those fumbles with it while it was open, and, like, fumbled it, so, like, piss went everywhere. <laughs> Everyone started running, but it was, like, all over their kitchen, and they have, they had three basset hounds at the time, and they apparently also like the smell of deer pee. So then they come, like, charging into the kitchen to, like, smell... I don't know what they plan to do with that, but they smelt it, and then they're, like, all over my dad. There's pee everywhere, and it's, like, sticking to, like, their kitchen table and their floor and, like, the legs of the chair and the refrigerator and the door, and it's, and it, like, my mom had to use, like, oh, what did she use? Like, not the scrubbing bubbles, but, like, or, like, the heavy-duty <laughs> scrubbing bubbles. So if you use deer piss, be careful. 
Be careful with the deer piss. It's sticky. It sticks to everything. On <laughs> the Midwestern nightmare. Midwestern cologne. Yeah, see? Two sides of the same coin. I tell you what. I tell you what. Hold on, I gotta pop my back. Yeah, so. <laughs> be careful. That was a couple years ago. I don't remember them using... I don't remember my dad using deer pee after. <laughs> Hmm. All right. So yeah, most. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to talk about the comic a little bit. Um, I don't, I mean, I don't know the ins and outs of the script yet, but from what I do know, it is a serious comic guys. It's, it's, it's very well written so far. Um, like I said, I don't know like all the ins and outs cause I don't have the full script yet, but like the majority I have, um, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to say too much and then and then lock Fubi into anything though. But yes, yeah, so um but that's part of the reason why it's taking so long. I think if it, if if it had just been like a funny meme, it would have been done a long time ago. Um but I don't think it would have been Can you hear my chair? Can you hear that? Uh 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 <laughs> Casual V stream, comic talk, pregger talk, piss talk, back to comic, like nothing ever happened. Since Fubi explained a little in her server months ago. Yeah, only <laughs> in her rocking chair. I should oil this thing, get some WD 40 on it. It's really hard to record ASMR videos with that in the background, by the way, because, like, I can't help it. Like, I'm a wiggler. You know, I'm doing one of these numbers while I'm talking. Hmm, would Fubi really be shackled by chat's expectations? Well, see, what I'm worried about is, like, um, if I say something, Fubi's gonna do the opposite of it just because I said something. You know what I mean? Like, she'll have a really good idea, and then I'll mention it, and she'll be like, well, fuck that, I'm not doing that anymore. Fuck that. It'd be more like that, I think. How do feet? I'm stimming, I'm stimming. I really wish I had my glove. I would be happy if I did. Wow, such salt this early. I'm in a I'm in a I'm in a mood. That's a really big fucking head. Her head is a different size. Hold on, we gotta fix this. Let's do this. You know, I saw a trick for this a while ago. And I forgot it. <laughs> Now, she's not standing straight on there, so. So, the top of her head, I think this one's, like, an acceptable. Okay, so what we're going to do is this. Oh. We're going to bump that down there, right? We're going to bump... This one up here. Control D. Control oh, enter. Control D. I'm gonna bump this one down here. Okay. And we're gonna do this. Alright, so now we need to do it's gonna wig out because it wants to snap to the to the things. Um, we're gonna do this. Oh, oh, I see, I see. I'm gonna drop the shoulder just a little. It's how you keep your character turns consistent, guys. You gotta measure. Gotta measure. It's important. Importante. All right. Control D. Okay, now her head is really small, so we're gonna make it bigger. I'm just gonna make it like the same ish size. And like now is the time to do it, right? Because like before I add any details or anything, right? All right, back to where you will take care. I guess you come again. Look forward to it. Thank you. It's the dementia. Have fun at work. 
I know you won't because like work sucks, but you know, like I, pre I appreciate you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So then you gotta do like the fingers gotta be the same length, luckily they are. But like the elbows, whoa, whoa, the elbows must be at the same length, which these two are. This one is not, so I gotta fix that. You know what I'm saying? That's how you do it. Oh no, now it's sticking to the rulers. But I need that, come back. And then, okay, hold on. I could just turn the snap off on the rulers, but that would be too easy. Goose is kill. Oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Wait, where's her wrist? No, not that layer. This layer. Stupid rulers. You can tell I'm not, I'm like used to like Photoshop rulers. Photoshop rulers like, um, uh, they're just, uh, uh. I refuse to believe it's been two years already. Yes. Whoa. Thank you, Ammonia, for the resub. Oh, and Buddha, thank you for the resub. Sorry, I missed that earlier. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Hey, you can't talk to him like that. You're British. Finger mittens. Yay. No. Wait. Are thumbs on the outside? No, no, no. You wouldn't see the thumb. I don't know. How do thumbs? That's okay. Don't worry, guys. We'll get this cleaned up. <laughs> thumb on the... There we go. Yeah. That's, that's good, right? This is the wrist. This is the fingies. This is the wrist. Anyway, back to the Fubi comic. If you guys can't tell by the music... Can it, can it, non-European? Dang. Yeah, you're not European anymore. You're just like in your own little island of sadness. Oh, she's got buff arms. That's okay. We'll fix that later. <laughs> you don't need that. Ah, the rulers. Nope, nope. We heard from another British person that that the UK is not part of the EU anymore, so they're not European. So it can be a kingdom and an island at the same time. An island is a land mass. A kingdom is a political boundary. Nope, we were told by another British person. You guys are no longer no longer European. Ta da okay. Now we can clean these suckers up. Let me get my Pinterest. No! No, Pinterest come back. I had a cute outfit. Damn it. I'm so upset. Oh, wait, 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 <laughs> Fun, fun girl, fun, 2000. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the meat hall. I really like this outfit. Fubi, does it have to stick to, like, for sure, like, the... The era? Like, do you want it to be historically accurate or not? Nah? <laughs> You're a poor. Nah, you <gasps> Let's fucking go! Go! <laughs> I'll stick to the vibe, though. Don't worry. The vibe will remain the same. But I just found a really cool outfit. And it's not necessarily 1930s. But the, the essence is there. Which I think is the important bit. I do be shitting. Damn.
Did the FBI exist in the 1930s? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fubi, no. She slammed in on there pretty fast. All right. All right, so we're going to do like a, 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 I don't know what to call this. Stop petticoat. It's like the cutest dress ever, though, and it's got a 1930s vibe, so I, I'm going to stick with it. This is my... I'll let V explain to she's cute. <laughs> what does that mean? Um, so it was actually called the, um, it wasn't the FBI. Hold on, I forgot what it's called. It was called the Bureau of Investigation or the Division of Investigation, but it wasn't, it, uh, it wasn't like a government body like it is now, if I'm remembering correctly. It was more like a, a private, if I could be wrong. I'm sure Fubi will jump in and tell me I'm stupid. Um, ah! um, but they're trying to get government support. She loves yapping. It's true. I can't even deny that. Uh, they're trying to get government support and like, I don't know, contract, I guess would be the word for it. Um, so that's why I'm trying to nab. What the fuck was not Derringer? No. Yes? Yes? Uh... <laughs> Holy shit. Not Derringer. What the, what is his name? Dillinger! Dillinger! So they were trying to grab Dillinger so bad. Um, you know, this is like mafia times and like big crime and, and bank heists and stuff. They're trying to grab Dillinger uh, so that they could prove that like they're worth being a government body. Uh, so it was such a, it was, uh, it was such a big thing. So there's like Dillinger and um, Babyface Nelson and Pretty Boy Floyd and like, you know, all these, all these like big mobster type guys. So that's the vibe, guys. That's the vibe we're going for. For for this. Which I'm excited about. It's new. It's it's a new vibe to me. Um, so it's it's a little bit I don't want to say growing pains. It's not painful, but it is like it's it's new to me. So, you know, there's some there's some bips and bobs I'm I'm working on. But they obliterated Bonnie and Clyde. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bonnie and Clyde too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you repeat all that. Work on the way. Uh, no, actually, I can't. Um, my brain won't work. A lot of research. Yeah, Fubi's Fubi's done a significant amount of research. I am simply just spewing what she has told me. <laughs> um. And then, like, I've I've done more research into, like, the clothing of the era and, and stuff like that. Just, you know, for references and things like that. But, um, yeah. It's very cool. It's very exciting. Um, so, it will be more of, like, a serious type comic. Uh, so, please look forward to that. There's a lot of work going into it. I know, I know uh, we wanted to have it done by now. But, um, goddamn, both our lives just kind of got in the way. <laughs> very, very much so. Um, and then, like, I think Fubi said that in an announcement at some point. Like, it's it's way more work than both of us thought it was going to be. So. And it's not a bad thing. It's just our timeline was very off, you know? But it's okay. It's It's getting done now. So. I would like, you know, I'd rather, like... I'd rather have like a piece, you know, something take a little bit longer, but then have a better quality product than, you know, try to rush it just to hit a deadline, if that makes sense. You and Fubi are in sync. We're, we're getting there. There's also like a level of motivation. Um, you know, like when you, I don't know, like when you have like real life stuff going on, right? Like it's difficult to... Motivate for... Oh, Jesus, this is really bad. Um, it's hard to motivate when, like, huge projects are kind of daunting and overwhelming, you know? I think both of us were kind of feeling that for a while. But I think we're... I think we're both... I mean, at least I am. I'm feeling better. 
Jenkin, why aren't you working? Did you finally quit and no longer have to worry about being robbed? Damn, I wish that were the case. <laughs> Did I finally quit? Okay, wait, this needs to be even. I am working right now! I'm twerking it the best I can. So yeah, if you're into like 1930s mobster stuff, you know, it's your vibe. That would be your vibe then. Oh gosh, I don't want to scroll. I want to erase. Chet Baker. Yeah, Chet Baker. It is my vibe. Yeah. It's a good story so far. I will say that. I don't want to hype it up too much, but I would say be excited. Fubi's a very good uh, writer. She's going to kill me because I keep complimenting <laughs> her. But it's very good. Wait, where are my references now? I have, I had, I have my references somewhere. I am pacing and panicking. No, no. Itoki! Um, it will be a black and white comic. It's not going to be in color, but that was both a choice to save, um, time and to kind of make it feel like a mob movie. Um, aesthetic yeah so um that's neat <laughs> uh, i feel like a mob movie they're all talking trashy heavy trashy italian accents yeah booby wrote all of them with bad italian accents Sorry, I'm looking up hair references right now. Um, 1930s was very into the curls. <laughs> it's me, a Fubidario! Wah! <laughs> it's me! Hold on, I crack my back. Ugh. Um, so this, I'm going to tell, Lord, uh, uh, Fubi, I'm going to tell him, I'm going to tell this, I'm going to tell him their, her name. I'm going to tell them. Should I tell him? <laughs> She's going to fucking kill me. <laughs> She's like, just stop fucking asking me. I don't want to make decisions. <laughs> A single Italian character in the story. Okay. Uh, this character's name is Clara. Not Fubario. So I'm currently drawing Clara right now. Yeah, maybe people get more excited about the comic if we actually talked about it instead of trying to hide everything, huh? What was Bonnie and Clyde's last name? I don't know. All right, let's see. So he's got like a swoop going on. Like a big swooper duper, guys. What the fuck? <laughs> culture appropriation. You're a raccoon. What kind of culture do you have? Oh, no, it goes over her ear. Okay. She's never had leftover cold spaghetti. No, uh, leftover cold spaghetti actually makes Fubi, which is funny because she will eat, like, expired food, but leftover cold spaghetti is too much for the woman. I'm just looking at these hair references right now so I can get like a proper situation. Oh, we could put a little bow in her hair. That's cute. <laughs> Clara. Oh, is is there a spaghetti MRE? We haven't had an MRE eating in a while. I 
I guess it hasn't been a while, while. Lore update, Fubi is a woman. What? <laughs> spaghetti MRE. I didn't know there was a spaghetti MRE. I didn't even know that was a thing. What the heck? That feels weird. I don't think I'd like that. I feel like it would just be like a brick of spaghetti noodles that you heat up. And then and then add you like plop the sauce into? Question mark. I never found out your opinion on the tamarind. It was it was good. I don't think I get it again though. The tamarind horito. I got cuz I got two. Um god, this looks terrible. Um I got two. I remember. I think I got the orange one and then the tamarind one. I like the orange one better. Mamma mia. The time frame is after the Italian mob fell essentially. Most of the characters are either Irish or Belgium descendants. Oh, okay. Thank you for the clarification. <laughs> Fubert. Fair. I don't know. I like I am I am I am American. That's a weird flavor for Americans. I'm just saying it's not like super weird, but it's kinda weird. I mean I I, <clears throat> I feel like I'm a relatively uh <laughs> Yeah. I feel like I'm a relatively like like, like, non, like, pick, I mean, like, I used to be a pickier eater. Okay, ignore this mouth, it's just temporary. I'm just laying stuff out right now, give me a break. It's, a, this is why I don't sketch on stream, because I'm like, I start panicking, because it looks like butthole, and then I feel like people are judging me, they're like, wow, this artist fucking sucks, look at her shit, and I'm just trying to sketch. This is how my mouth is. <laughs> like I, I'm, I'm legitimately panicking right now. I'm like, oh my god, they think I'm a fake artist. Re. <laughs> She's got like a, like a. <laughs> uh huh. Thing going on. Uh, yeah, oh, there we go. Judgmental. You don't have to be Mexican. I think there's a lot of uh, uh, countries, a lot of people that eat tamarind that aren't Mexican. Have you sketch out. Yeah, but they're not. They're not good bodies. They're just blah 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 blah. Their head's too big. Look at that face, though. I think I need to make her eyes smaller. Actually, I'm actually okay with this eye, though. I will be honest with you. I'm okay with this. Hello, Joey. Wow, thanks, Joey. Appreciate that feedback. That's really great. Thank you so much. That's really great of you to say that. Back when I was Latino, Tamarind... What do you mean when you were... <laughs> what? When you were Latino? What does that mean? Do you just stop being Latino eventually? Is that how that works? You can change race now? Oh, did he? What did. Did you become something else? Ethnicity is what your culture is. So you're. Okay. How <laughs> do you do that? <laughs> Amodia's like, wait a minute. F1 driver midways plows its way to NASCAR drive. <laughs> no! Alright, she looks... Let's, let's zoom out and see how she looks. Alright, not... Great. She looks older and 
like a librarian? Um, hmm. Let's clean up some of these lines here. <laughs> we'll just add some more hair, I think. will help a little bit. Granted, a lot of 1930s hairs do kind of fall onto a librarian. That kind of makes sense in itself. I think, I feel... Because, you know, that's kind of the vibe librarians, librarians, librarians have. <laughs> <laughs> like the racing content I crave. No. All right. So let's see. Let's get rid of this because that was just a line that we didn't need. Collarbone should probably be here. Oh no! How sinful her collarbone. Okay, we'll put some like things here. Erase this. Librarians is my favorite Greg city city. Man, you guys are on fire today. What the hell? <laughs> Just straight up making fun of me. How lewd. I know. Well, guys, look at this. Look. Oh, <gasps> It's not even the 50s yet. It's not even the 50s. What are those? <laughs> So I'm angry. Is that what it is? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sure the tag. No, Twitch, no, don't ban me, please. I'm begging. <laughs> oh, what else happened? There's something else I wanted to tell you guys about, and I totally forgot what it was. Um, I don't know. We're gonna have interesting things happen to me right now, which I, I feel like I've been insanely busy yet have done nothing. Does that make sense? Does anyone else get that? Like, I feel like I've been flailing for like the past four days. Well, I got, I got sick, right? So that happened, what is today? Thursday? I don't know what day it is anymore. Wednesday? No, yeah, so I got sick on Tuesday. Yeah, 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 because the stream started you on Tuesday. This week just, like, happened. I know. And it's Thursday already. What? <laughs> Fuck. Oh, the dishwasher person was supposed to come today. Which was actually okay, because I would have had to have leave, left midstream or something. I don't know what I was going to do. I didn't really have a plan for that. I was just going to roll with... <laughs> Ohio! Oh no, that sounds terrible. No one actually wants to go to Ohio. Dishwasher person, he called the Maytag man. I don't think he's a, it's not a Maytag though. I think it's a Whirlpool. <laughs> Wait, is it a Maytag? It might be a Maytag. I don't remember what my dishwasher is. I just know it's been in a box in my kitchen for two weeks. I'm getting really annoyed about it. Oh, you got family there. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, now I gotta go find that picture again. All right, so the thing with the 30s is women started to wear more, like, male-ish clothing, which meant that uh, shoulder pads were very in because it made you blocky, much like man. So we're going to add some shoulder pads to Clara here. Clara's going to get some shoulder pads. We're going to clean up this sketch a doodle line art here. Ting -ing. Oh no! Commissar, calm down. I know she's like sort of office lady, but keep, keep, it, keep it under control, sir. Oh no. Oh no, she kind of is office lady. Oh no, what have I done? I'm just trying to make this line make sense. Make it make sense. There we go. She works in an office. Oh no. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Quick delete the dot. <laughs> Well, my grandparents live in Akron when they were still around, and my mother's sister's niece live out that stretch. I know nothing about Ohio. Have I ever been to Ohio? I think I've been through Ohio. Where's a cigarette and a glass of whiskey? Um, if I remember correctly, she does smonk. So I will have to draw... You know what? I'm going to make her face, like, less round, I think. Maybe that will help. Which is weird, because, like, I want her to look on the younger side, but not look like she's, like six you know what i'm saying maybe her forehead's too big make her look six i don't want to make her look six actually i like this line right here we're gonna keep that line i like it Get rid of these ones. Fuck these lines. Let's zoom out a little bit. Well, well, there, there's fixing that's got to be done still. Don't worry. There's there, there's fixing. All right, we're gonna have an ad about ten minutes. When that ad comes, I will throw words up, and then I'm gonna go uh, get more coffee, maybe, or maybe I'll just stick to water. I don't know. Um, do I need more coffee? What time is it? Is it lunchtime? Wait, hold on, give me a second. Uh, I, got, I got a text message. Oh, gross. Okay. It's just a... It, it was just a, a political thing. It was like, hi, V. I was like, oh, no, is this something important? It's just political people. So, no, not something important. You dare deny the we have to sell this big No Surprise guys it's actually a lolly a lolly a lolly dojin Fubi may is forcing me to do this against my will Oh <laughs> Joey's like oh no Okay I know I said I like that line but I changed my mind I hate that line Hate it. Okay, I feel like this should come out this way and then up here and then and then this needs to come like this. Don't tell them this is a state sponsored trap. Oh no, I fucked up. I told you this was gonna happen. You said I could talk about it and I shared too much information again. I told you. I told you this was gonna happen. Truly a fickle artist, yes. All right, watch this, guys. Watch this magic. Hold on. Wait. Wait. Look, now she's got more booba. Jesus. Why was that so loud? Oh, that like killed the music in my head. <laughs> like I realized that these have to go on like on top of the the straps here. That makes it look a lot better. Okay. I realized my problem. I think this has to, I think this has to go over here. I think we're just going to accept that there's not a lot of boobage here and that it can't like, like the straps are going to be the defining <laughs> line for the boobage. There's just not much to keep it pushed out, you know what I'm saying? I'll fix that. I don't know. It doesn't look great right now. All 
All right. Um, I can't remember. Big puffy sleeves. I can't remember if big puffy sleeves were a thing. Yes, they were. That's what I thought. Okay. With like the long cuff and then a puffy sleeve. Yes, I would like to hear a fun fact about the 1930s. Please enlighten me. Well, actually, that, 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 that. you will actually me. Ninety years ago, damn, that's crazy. We're about to be in the thirties again, guys. We're about to be in the thirties again. How does that make you feel? They made a safety video to explain the dangers of cleaning your clothes with diesel. That's cute. That actually makes sense. Because I've actually heard people suggest that before, like in modern times. I remember that being a thing. So, <laughs> yeah. Goodbye, line. Wow. Also, if you have the field and get lice, Diesel gets rid of them. Diesel will get rid of a lot of shit, actually. <laughs> I don't think... I don't think it's just a lice thing. I don't think that's just a... <laughs> How could it be bad? I'm stretching. I'm stretching. I'm stretching. Okay. Also, uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I want to do that next week. Shoit. Damn it. Oh, okay. I'll stretch again, I guess. <laughs> stretch again. And again, I will big sip. Thank you. Oh my god. All right, let's zoom out. Yep, that looks like a uh, that looks like a librarian. For real, for real. <laughs> Well, I wanted to do the um the chicken the chicken ASMR thing. I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll do like a um like we'll watch the premiere on YouTube together, right? And then we'll come back over to Twitch and we'll have like an after party, quote unquote. And we'll just do like we'll just hang out and just chat. We can do that. How about Monday? Monday release party? Do that Monday? Since it's 30, so she draws lines on her legs. Yeah, she's poor as fuck, dude. She can't afford nylons, so. She has to, she's just got some, like, coal. She just draws it on. What's Monday? Uh, Monday is a smart chicken day. That's what Monday is. Coal. Blackface, but for legs. What? I think there's a little more to blackface than just two lines, bud. Just chicken noises? No, no, no. Like, guys, I, I, it was like a, a legit thing. I put a lot of time into this chicken ASMR, guys. I just want you to know that. Isn't nylons like leg covering? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, so back in the day, like if you couldn't afford to pay for nylons, 
um, people would just draw like a line down the back of their leg to like pretend they have nylons to make it look like they're wearing nylons because there would be a seam in the back. So then people would just dry out, draw it on because like from far away it would look like you're wearing nylons then. Be slapping raw chicken legs ASMR. Yes. All right, so now we're going to make the skirt not look so belligerent. Oh, I lied. An ad's going to start soon. So I'm going to drop uh, I'm gonna drop words for you guys, and I'm going to go to the bathroom, which is good timing because I really have to go. Um, and I will be back. So let's, let's do that. Here is words for you nerds. Get it? Words for you nerds. So I'll hit start, and then we'll go into an ad, and you guys won't miss anything. Goodbye.
I'm back. I got snacks. They're crunchy. I'm sorry. So I have. Oh, look, you guys are actually playing today. Poor Beaver's trying so hard. Game over. I'll come aside. Beaver, you had 15 points. You can't hear me, can you? The ads cuck me. I'm mad. I'm V. Right. Like I said, I got crunchy snacks. Please don't be mad. I had to remote it to my PC at home and it's over. Oh no. All right. Oh, okay. Why don't we? Oh yeah, I was looking at her skirt. So I wanted it to be like a stiffer fabric. But not like super duper stiff if that makes sense whoa 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 are nylon's leggings or are they different they're different leggings are like workout material and they're thick and you're not really supposed to see through them and nylon's you are supposed to see through they're very thin sheer Nylons also cover your feet and leggings don't. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's like, but you can buy like, you don't have, they don't have to tint your legs. You can buy like ones like in your skin color and it's like the same color. Like they don't have to be leg tinting. Like I don't buy leg tinting ones if I, on the very rare occasion that I wear nylons, which is very rare. I get ones that are like my same skin color. I don't buy tinty ones. What's the point of them if that's the case? So like, if you, okay. I don't know how many of you have been close enough to a girl's leg to notice, but like when we shave our legs, you can like the, the, um, the hair follicles, like you can see, especially in like paler people, um, you can like see them and stuff like you can see the hair follicles like the little holes and like any kind of like if there's like scars or like a little wrinkle or something or you know just like some like you know you got some cellulite or whatever um the the nylons kind of smooth that all out and kind of blur it also back when people didn't have huh. razors yeah can't believe v is out here giving away foobie's feet pics for free no nah, this is clara this ain't foobie um, so that kind of, like, blurs it. But, yeah, back in the day, like, I don't know if women really shaved their legs, so it kind of held the leg like, hair down. You know? Um, some people like the tint, though. I don't, because I think it's weird if my legs are a different color than the rest of my body. <laughs> Thank you for the biddies, Otter. Have a good time at work. Don't wear your peen still don't shave. So like like at least follicles and shit. I think honestly, I feel like most men couldn't care less about seeing that, but like women care about it. <laughs> if that makes sense. Like I used to be really self conscious about it. I don't know why. I just was. So they would, but hairy legs and big long neck, kinda, yeah. I don't like wearing nylons though, because they always rip on me and I'm just, I'm like over it.
There are dudes who do, but they are the professional internet women rater who never rate any woman above five online. Oh, I did not know that was a thing. I don't want, yeah, I don't want to get kicked out of the tribe. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know, they're itchy, too. I don't like them. But, like, nowadays, too, they have, like, control tops and stuff. So, if you got a little pouch, pooch, little fupa going on, it can control the fupa. Squish everything back where it's supposed to be. You know? I have, uh, mm, no, I've never ripped them on my dumpy. I, um, but, like, you have to be really careful because if you brush up against anything, like, literally anything, it'll rip them, like, on your legs and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and then you have to get them off to pee, and they're a pain in the ass to get back up. Yep. That fupa control, though. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Sweating nylon's fucking worse, dude. I wore nylon to a wedding last year, and it was hot out, because it was, like, an outside wedding. And, like, I couldn't get them back up because I had sweated in them. Oh, God, how, how does one hand? Um, I sweated in them, and then, like, they got sticky. And I go to the hospital to get them. And then, of course, like, the bathroom's, like, like, there's, like, two stalls and there's, like, a hundred women that want to use the bathroom. And they're like, hurry up! And I'm like, I'm stuck to my nylon! <laughs> Help me! Help me, Tom Cruise! Well, thank you for being an ally, Buddha. Thank you for understanding. I can't keep spare nylons in my purse, dude. What? It's too much work, dude. I'm just not going to wear them. I don't wear high enough skirts anyway for them to really make a big difference. Um, I'll be honest, I haven't seen the little plastic egg things in literally forever. Now it's mostly like cardboard pouches. I know you used to be able to get them at like Walmart and the little egg things. V-Lore. Ally. I'll never ally. Ah! Oh no, floor chip! Well, it's gone forever. The leg egg, yeah. They're either cheap or expensive, yeah. I don't like, like the last time I bought nylons, it was like six or seven bucks and they ripped that night. Like they got ripped and I don't even remember what they ripped on. So it like wasn't enough for me to notice I bumped into something. So I don't know, it just feels like a big waste of money. It feels like a massive waste of money. Like so hot, 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 like, like so hot is cooked an egg. No, I ripped up my calf. Alright. I think we'll just clean up enough we can, like, move on to the next one. Um. But now we gotta drop some rulers here. I can't just grab one ruler? Apparently not. Happy trails to you until we meet again. No, I. Oh, I didn't. I didn't make shoes yet. That's fine. I don't need to worry about those right now. So this is the top of the dress. 
bottom of the waist, cuff, cuff, and then skirt length. All right. Don't look ripped up nylon. We should have her wear clogged. I'm thinking like Crocs, TBH. Like, I'm feeling like some Crocs would be a good fit. Because Fubi said I didn't have to, like, I didn't have to stick, like, per, you know, 100%. No, why the Dutch? Why are we trying to get the Dutch involved? Oh, wait, right here. I heard there's sewing tool that stitches up ripped nylons. What? Wait, I want to look that up. What? I don't know how you do that. I'm looking. I'm watching a video. All right, what are you doing here? Show me. Come on, five minute craft, show me. Whoa. Come on, five minute craft, show me. <gasps> Whoa. It's almost like a little pen with like this crazy head on it. That's crazy. The crap, I need one of those. That's amazing. Speaking of wardrobe malfunction, I was taking a shower and bath because both are better. When I was done, I reached for my towel. The towel then grabbed my bra off the other hook and threw it in the tub. No! No! <laughs> it's never going to be the same. Now you have to put it in the dryer. It's never going to be the same. You've ruined it. I mean, you, you should wash your bra a little bit sometimes, like when you have to. You do wash your bras sometimes, right, Fooby? Right, Fooby? Booby has bras? What? Alright, so this is actually like the lowest point is here. So I'm actually going to bring this up here like this. I should look for my glove while I was getting snacks. I did not look for my glove while I was getting snacks. Dang, now you guys are going after Fooby. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I put my bras in the washing machine because I'm lazy. I don't dry them in the dryer, though. They get dried outside the dryer. I also don't buy, like, really expensive bras. If I bought expensive bras, then I would probably, like, hand wash them like a normal person. Not like, like you gotta wash them by hand, really, with, without destroying them. Washers and dryers will absolutely decimate bras. <laughs> they will destroy. Ma, 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 ma. I've never heard of this. Do you have high contact with bras? Yeah, no. So, like, because, like, if it has an... If it doesn't have an underwire, like, sports bras and stuff, like, those are fine. 
But, um, like, stuff with, like, underwires or snaps or, like, um, hooks and stuff. Those will get fucked up. Put on a gentle wash. So how how many bras do you think it would take to fill up an entire washing machine, Trevor? I don't have that many bras. How many bras do you think I have? Not enough to fill up an entire cycle in the washing machine, that's for sure. Make a pull? Pull for what? Oh, okay. I'll do it. I think Commissar went to work. <laughs> you pull. Oh no, there's Commissar. How? Um, I'll do it. I got it. I got it. How many bras do women have? <laughs> One, two, two. Three, two, four. Five, two, six. Six plus. Start pull. There you go. About ten. Who's who's voting strict plus? Oh my god. I think I'd just be memeing. Wait, are we including the sports bras? Or just normal bras? I'm 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 thinking just normal bras. I'm not thinking sports bras. Well, no, yeah, I know, but like sports bras can be washed like a normal shirt. We're talking about how you can't wash like a, a normal bra. Yeah, I don't think sports bras really count. Sports bras don't have issues with washing. So sports bras don't count. If you voted for sports bras, you fucked up. Are we counting lingerie? No, we're counting bras! Counting, God, laundry. That's even more expensive. Yeah, but we're talking about, like, washing, guys. Washing. I'm talking lingerie. My God. Hello, hello, Valeda. Barbarian. I can tell you guys, do you want to know how much a bra, like a basic bra costs that's not like Walmart bra and would actually be comfortable? Do you guys want to know? Like an actual comfortable bra that's not from Walmart on the low end, the low end is 40 bucks. Bras can easily be like 90 bucks a pop. Like, easily. Now you chill. Now you chill, Ammonia. I cannot afford that that many bras. I know bras. <laughs> Trevor's in on it. And that's for, like, basic bras. If you want the fucking fancy-ass bras that are, like, all sexy and shit, they're gonna be even more money. Yeah, I don't like wearing, like, I'll wear sports bras daily as, like, a pinch. Like, if my bras are dirty and I need to wash them and I don't want to. But I, uh, I don't like doing it. Like, I, they're for gym time. <laughs> they're not for daily wear. They don't make the girls look good, you know what I'm saying? They're too tight. T 
don't need to wash bras if you don't. Uh, that's true. Yeah, that's fair. You don't, nah, like, I don't know. Look, I don't wear a bra for the male gaze. I wear a bra for myself. Thank you very much. Did, you t did I tell you about that, like, hit on a, c a while ago? It was really uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I went to an actual bra place, they said I was wearing a bra uh, too, so uh, I was uh, too big all my life. Among us. Hello, Bleach. Aw, oh, poor Fooby. Two sizes too big. I got told I was wearing a bra too small, so <laughs> the opposite problem. Walmart ones are really uncomfortable. Actually, it's crazy how much like wearing a bad bra can fuck up your back, too. Movie with the extra storage chest pouch. That's where she keeps her extra socks, guys. <laughs> Logical. <laughs> yeah, you can pack underwear and socks. It's true. You would, you would have extra space in your carry-on. Six plus. Dang, you guys think we're made of money. I'm trying to find, like, one of the really fancy ones. Let's see. Like, okay, let's do a lingerie, right? So, lingerie. The lowest price of lingerie is $99.99. $99.99. Like, boyos think we're made of money, dude. Kate, in an occasional second, you find that you had since <laughs> since high school. Just a small investment of $240. All I'm seeing is I need to treat bras like I treat pants. I have four pairs. Yeah, pretty much. Like, and now, don't get me wrong. Obviously, you can find cheaper options at different stores, right? But, like, you, you, bras are one of those things where, like, you pay for what you get. And, like I said, they can, like, fuck you up really badly if you have, like, a bad sizing or if you have bad material and, like, the weight is distributed incorrectly. That's big. Wait, what do you say? What do you say? That's because you don't have any breasts, booby. What? So it's like, you know, is it worth it? Is it worth... Hold on, we gotta fix something. Is it worth fucking up your back to have... You know, to have the, the less expensive bra? We're gonna have a little bit more of a relaxed pose here. It's a little, little too stiff for... It's a little weirdly stiff. It's like how you all, how all of you buy Magnum condoms when you all know you're a Pee Wee rib for her. Oh no! Hi, Bleach. It's uh, it's been very intense. You missed the deer pee story though, so at least you got that going for you. I don't buy condoms because I don't. No, no. <laughs> Dear Pete, you were here for that, Beaver. Raw dog or no nah dog? No, you clipped it. Oh no. <coughs> Hold on, I'm getting distracted. I want to look at the clips now. What do you mean the best part? <laughs> ah. Thank you. Thank you, Booby, for that clip. 
No context clipping! It's clips like that that make me terrified to raid people because some people have that thing where, like, we'll just automatically play a clip. And, like, my luck, that's the clip that's gonna get played. It's terrifying. Oh, yeah, where's, where's, where's ear? Dear P is stinky, she says. Lack of context is what makes it funny. I think I have multiple stories about peeps fucking with one of those deer tracking bombs and getting it stuck under a car seat. Oh, no, my dad had, like, estrus or whatever it's called for deer. And, like, he went to go, like, put it on his boots or something for some reason. And, like, he juggled it. Like, he ended up fumbling it and juggling it. And then, like, um, he, yeah, he, it ended up, like, all over my parents' kitchen. And it was, uh, the dogs were happy, though. Their three basset hounds are very, very happy about it. You know what I'm saying? Oh no, not the bumpus out. <laughs> Those dogs are nuts, dude. Not my... They are nuts. Although now they only have two. They only have two of them. The old, well, they had, they had, uh, Gomer was his name. He was an old boy, though. Did Old Father make a new account? No, he didn't. I don't think he did. I hope not. <laughs> I'm waiting. I kind of yelled at him for it one day. I'm like, you know, you kind of screwed me over, right? And he's like, well, I was trying to, like, let you know that, like, this is... I'm like, you could have... One, you could have just told me instead of, like, being a dick. <laughs> and two, like, I don't care what you want. I'm like, it's not for you. So... <laughs> I'm like, you're not the target audience, so get the fuck off my videos. <laughs> I didn't say it like that. So I wanted to say that. <laughs> the problem is the man watches so much YouTube, he thinks he's a YouTube expert now. Dad's being dick since forever. It's true. Is this stream shut up, mom corn? <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not one of those streamers that have their parents in their house with them. I Like, it would be nice to not have to pay so many bills, right? But then, like, I'm so glad I don't have to, like, you know, risk my parents coming in and be like, Did you do the dishes yet? <laughs> Are the dishes done? Why don't you just do those May May videos or kids? Yeah. Oh my god, those videos are so weird. Where the kids play with, with the... With the... Where the adults play with, like, the kids' toys. The ear's not far enough back. Um, where the adults play with, like, the kids... But it's, like, a sh it's for kids? I don't know. Those videos freak me out. I don't like them. Or, like, what's that one that's, like, I'm fucking seeing everywhere? The, the kid... Like, I don't know, it's like some Filipino kid. <laughs> Brian's World? Is that what it is? I cleaned your redacted. That's like 75% of the reason why I won't stream. You should just stream with your mom. It would be amazing. Adults behaving like infants bothers me to an unreasonable degree. No, right? Ryan's World. Yeah! That one, I hate those. It feels like the parents are just trying to make their kid make them money. Doesn't it? Absolutely not. I want to talk, I want to say hi to your mom on stream, Bleach. I want to be like, hello, Bleach's mom. Can I have your recipe for delicious food? I hear you're a, I hear from your son that you are a wonderful cook. And I won't be the one to explain it to her. Hi, 
I don't even... I don't know. <laughs> the internet's a dangerous place for, <laughs> for old people. <laughs> dangerous. I can tell you how to make Bailey's brownies if you want. Actually, if you want to share that recipe, I'll take it. That sounds delicious. <laughs> no one has passion anymore. I don't know. It's, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Like, that's fair. Like, I can't, I can't argue that. Especially, I think it's part, partially it's because, like, the world economy is, like, shit right now. Thank you, corporations. So, like, everyone's just, like, some people are trying to survive, so they're doing whatever they can to do that. And then other people are like, well, I'm not about to lose the money I have. I need to keep making this. So then they just, you know, go down the AI route or whatever. Shit, that might as well be AI. Are you sharing recipes? Fuck yeah, share recipes. Share recipes. Guys, if you give me a recipe and I make it, I'll send you I'll send you a picture of me making it. Not of it being done, of it being completed. AI yeah, needs to be removed from public use. Yeah, it needs to be removed from use everywhere. <laughs> There's AI in certain capacities is great. Um when it's doing like administrative work, for the most part, it's good. Um, when it's doing, like, any kind of creative work, it's just, like, that needs to be culled. Yeah, Kami, you know, you're gonna make a channel for recipes. Because, like, you know, they were like, oh, we're, like, artists are losing jobs and blah, 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 blah. And, like, that's bad and that's, you know, I don't like that. But, like, the AI doesn't even do a good job. Like, all the, all the articles. Or, like, the shit with Amazon and them selling the books. Did you guys hear about that? People are like just like rapid fire shitting out AI generated books on Amazon to like sell for money. And then like they shat out like a foraging guide for mushrooms and a bunch of people bought it. And then a bunch of people fucking died because it's not good information. So this AI generated crap. Like six new books a day is the new limit. Six still seems incredibly excessive. It should be at least one. One a day. There's no reason we drop in six books a day. That's insane. One a week. Yeah, so don't get your foraging books off of Amazon, please. Everyone needs to live. You can't trust any information on the internet anymore. Or, like, um, the Google AI was telling people to give your cat aspirin if they were feeling pain. And, like, aspirin's incredibly toxic to cats. Like, it will kill them. So several people accidentally killed their cat because they trusted the Google AI. Which is cute. Like, it's just... It should not be... It should not be this accessible. I just don't think it's a good idea. I think I'll get one of those foraging books if I ever go to my family's hunting cabin. Oh no. If aspirin bread, then why no hurty? Because you're dead. Your cat's dead. It can't hurt if it's dead. You only need to tell lies. Oh man, Starlink over at the hunty cabin. Alright, let's zoom out. How are we doing? Okay, it's not terrible. It's gonna need more work. It's not terrible. <laughs> AI herbalism is LOL. Yeah, no, for real. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I feel like I want to give, like, the people that bought it the benefit of the doubt and they didn't realize it was AI generated. Not that they, like, bought something knowing it was AI generated and went, this will be fine. Because who in their right mind would do such a thing, right? Right? Try not to burp into the mic. Wait, these don't line up. Hold on a minute. Oh, not even a little bit. Oh, not even a little bit. The fuck am I doing?
You said us the free ASMR content. Deny us. Damn you, phone. What? I see my boss pull up a video meant to be informative, but it was just an AI-generated Mobius loop. It blue screened him so hard. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Can I, like, turn this down? Can I make this, like... No. Okay. Worth a shot. <laughs> Look at me trying to draw an actual nose. I hate profiles. Ooh. That's fine. This is fine. I had one... I had one page tell me how he got 80k a year uh, tech job using AI. No, I don't want to burp into the mic. I don't wanna. It's bad, it's bad for Michael to be burped into. Look guys, it's like an anime mouth. <laughs> this looks AI generated. Speaking of, give her a schnoz. The bad part was that he didn't understand what was happening. And I kept telling him, that's an AI video. It's never going to get to the point. <laughs> You're, sir, it's never going to get to where you want it to. Oh my god, this is so hard. Okay. Her head's not like... Alright, let's do this. Let's bring this down, because that's not in the right position. Dead internet theory not sounding too theoretical. Yeah, no, for real. What well, YouTube's now cracking down on quote unquote bot views, but like they're like cracking down on everyone and their mother. Even people who don't have bot views. So like that's fun. I hate drawing lips. I hate drawing lips. I hate drawing lips. No, 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 the bottom lip is lower. Okay, wait, 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 we're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. Frostybot is, Frostybot hasn't, uh, he hasn't been talking at all, has he? I just realized that. Just overlay a cat, right? Whoa. Okay, hold on. Actually, that eye was kind of right where it needed to be. <laughs> oh, 
Hold on, though. Hold on a minute. Ho hold on, though. Wait a minute. <laughs> hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> Trying to get those bot subscribers. Are there bot subscribers? I want to run it. I want to really, I really want to. Oh my God, I cannot read. No one pays me to read. I want to reiterate that I really like the curly little bun she's got in here. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Big, big bun. Okay, wait, hold on. This isn't like 100%, but we're getting there. It's cute. Yay. How long do I stream for today, guys? Okay, that actually worked really well, though. I'm a little angry. That, that actually worked really well. Yes. <laughs> the cat thing. Yeah, the cat thing actually that helped me a lot. <laughs> what the fuck? That's almost perfect. I'm so angry right now. Are you telling me if I get stuck in a profile I just need to trace a cat quick? Are you for real right now? Someone clip that. Please, I'm begging you. Someone go go back and clip that. Please. What the heck? What's the timestamp on this? An hour and 48 minutes. Jeez. Hold on. I'm, I'm popping my back again. I tell you, get carpal tunnel. I have carpal tunnel. Guys, I have a wrist brace. Did you know that? Did I tell you guys that? I have a really nice... I have a wrist brace I have to wear every night so I don't get carpal tunnel. I'm kind of mad about that, but kind of... Oh, my. I right, can add another curl here then. There's another one right here. And then some beep -beep. That's all I have to do if I get stuck in a profile is bring in a cat. Get Gamma, we need you. You about be sweaty wrist brace now. No! <laughs> it's machine washable, unlike my bra. They wax your what? <laughs> All right, so, okay, we're gonna have our little, our little thingy here. I'm so angry. <laughs> no, ew, stop. Oh, I remember, I remember what I was gonna talk about. So yesterday, I went to, uh, I went to BioLife. And for those who don't know what BioLife is, basically you can donate your plasma. Um, and they pay you money, so they like hook you up to this machine and they stick a little needle in you. And uh, then they stick another little needle in you and they filter your, the plasma out of your blood and then put your blood back, right? Years of academy training wasted. I did that for you. Yeah, so I was gonna go, I was like, I was like, because I, I tried doing it in the past, however, my veins were deemed too small. Which is neat, right? But it's okay because I'm like, I drink tons of water and I work out more. So, so then I, I'm i sure I have, my veins are bigger, right? So I go in there and it's like, my appointment is like, I get there 15 minutes early for my appointment, right? And, and I'm sitting there for like another, like, 25 minutes so like it's 10 minutes after my appointment was supposed to start because you have to do like a physical and like no one's talked to me and I'm like oh so glad I came early this is great and someone finally talks to me but then like they're taking other people in between like doing my stuff so I was there for an entire hour 
pretty much just to get checked in. And then they're like, well, you got denied last time because your veins are too small. So we're before we do anything else, we're going to go do a vein check and then go from there. And I was like, fine, that's that's fair. So they laid me on one of the little beds and like the ladies, like they put on the, they, they, they put the little like pressure cuff on my arm, you know, and squeeze it real tight. And then the lady's like slapping my arm. She's like, And, like, she slaps the shit out of my arm and then slaps the shit out of my other arm. And it felt like it was going on for, like, forever. Like, both my arms hurt super bad. It was, like, 20 minutes of arm slapping. And then she goes, nah, they're not going to work. Like, I have one that's, like, a maybe, but then I don't have a second one. And they're, like, she's, like, you know, you really need to drink a lot of water before you come in here. I'm, like, I have drank, like, a gallon of water yesterday and I drank, like, a whole quart of water before I even left my house, and then I had a Gatorade on the way here. Like, I'm pretty sure... <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm hydrated. <laughs> so, that I, got, I got sent away. So, I, they're like, you can come back in, like, a couple days, and we can try again after you're hydrated. And I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm just giving up. <laughs> I'm done. I'm not even trying again. The fact that I got a... I got one that was, like, a maybe... I did not get a lady with a big rack, no. She had a, I don't know. I didn't look at her boobs, I'm gonna be honest with you. Her boobs were the least of my concerns. So I was once again denied a bio life. Too tiny of veins. Veins too small. <laughs> Cannot fly. <laughs> again. I don't know, guys. I'm just not meant to be. I just am not meant to get money while I nap, apparently. That was my plan. Like, I brought Dune along. I was going to read Dune or nap. And I felt like I was probably going to nap. And then I got slapped around. Oh, and they force-fed me um goldfish crackers. Like, they're like, you need to eat both these bags of crackers before we can even see you. And I was like, I ate breakfast. And they're like, eat the crackers. <laughs> You can't nap while donating? I don't know. My best friend, uh, he donates and he naps. Wait, what? That was slapping you a lot more? You're still reading Dune? Um, so that's a difficult question because that implies that I've been reading it, so like, technically no. Hollow bones. <laughs> so, like, technically, no, I'm not reading Dune, but, like, I want to finish Dune. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I'm gonna draw fingies. I don't want to draw fingies. V, what? What? Why are you V-ing me? Without the threat of librarians, he has slipped off the Dune worm. <laughs> I never said it was difficult reading. How does one draw fingers? We got... Well, I, I don't know. <laughs> Long and dry. You're acting like I was struggling reading it. I just haven't read it. I just haven't picked up the book. Fingers. There we go. Welcome to the comic. This is the hands. Oops. Oops. It has nothing to do with my skill level of reading. It has everything to do with me actually sitting down and reading. Ha! <laughs> Damn! Booby, shut him the fuck down! <laughs> Can't pick up a book, veins too small. I don't sit down and like do quiet things, guys. I don't know if you know that. I got shit to do. I got shit to do. I don't want to draw hands. Hammed. There, that's good enough. It's not, it's fine, I just don't do it. <laughs> I sit, oh wow, that's really bad. What the hell? <laughs> Hold on a minute. These arms feel really long. 
These all feel really low. What did I do? Hold on a minute. I can't talk. I'm thinking. Hold on. Okay, that feels a little better. Guys, if you ever want to know how art works, it's literally by uh, eyeball all the time. Wow, we're already another ad? What the fuck? How's it two hours already? <laughs> Long arm of the web. <laughs> I don't know, I can't talk. My god, V, what? Hello? Hello, Ranger? Damn it, Fooby. Why are you like this? T Rex arm time. Control S, we save. Oh my god, what time is it? Do we wanna. Do we wanna. Do we wanna keep drawing? I don't know, like. I, like, I don't wanna play a game, maybe? Or do we just keep drawing? Do we just keep drawing? I don't know what game I would play is the thing, so like, I don't really... Wait, what happened? Where's half my canvas? Oh my god, what the fuck? All right, now we gotta do that again. I should probably save it, hold on. I think I saved it while it was cropped. You should lock it. I can't lock it. If I lock it, then I can't draw on it. A shite. Thanks for the recipe channel, Kami, you nerd. Let's go, recipes! Okay, so if we did play a game, what game would you guys want to see? Because, like, part of me wants to play a game, but I don't know what game to play. So you guys can give me a bunch of games, and I'm going to tell you no, and then we're going to draw anyway. So... It's pretty shrimple. Let's go. Daisy. Ew. Ew. Passparo. Wow. Dang, that's a that's a oldie but goodie. It's a game where you have to draw. That's true. Kenna? I've never even heard of Kenna. I kind of hate the bottom of the skirt now. I think I'm just going to make it straight. Hindsight, what do you say? I say maybe I should have made a forum for searchability's sake. Oh no, Commissar, what have you done? Recipe, I like it, I like it. Thank goodness you're here. Wait, 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 what's that one game? Mm. Hold on. What's that AI game where you can, like, talk and you have to, like, convince the AI to let you into the, the house? It's a good and cute game. Oh, I'll have to look that up. 
We should play Bloodborne so you can see the daily life of British people. Oh yeah, no, that makes sense. I've heard that's like lore accurate. That's like country accurate. All right, maybe we should just finish this last one. Suck up, that's what it was. <clears throat> Maybe we should just finish this one, and then we'll see how we're feeling. Like, why not finish all three, right? It feels weird to not finish all three. Right? Yeah, Chet Baker! And we're in an ad. My nose is so stuffy still. Oh, I love the Great British Bake Off. That was such a good show. That was like a comfort show. <laughs> Hello, Paladin. Paladin, can you please explain to the other British person in chat here that uh, the UK is no longer European? Because he seems to think I'm lying to him. He says I'm a liar. And I'm not. I'm not lying. I'm being honest. I'm just repeating information. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, there we go. I don't know how much you guys heard, but... Yeah, we had Brexit and left. It was basically a messy divorce from Europe. Yes, you guys aren't European anymore. That's how that works. I'm gonna smack your nuts, Paladin. That's how that works. Duh. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. We're gonna finish this other we're gonna finish this other uh one. I'm gonna I'm gonna be a good girl and I'm gonna finish it. And then and then we'll see how we're feeling about everything and then we'll go from there. See, no longer European. Yeah. So you say bye bye, you're no Euro no more. Italy has taken your place. That's just how it is. That's just how it do be. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I really wish I had my glove. I miss my glove. I wonder if I should use this as an opportunity to go look for my glove, but I kind of want to just keep drawing, you know? I feel like our waist here is not small enough. Like, it feels uneven. Here on this side. But my hands are going to get sweaty. You can't insult Mexican food. Mexican food's actually good. As a British person, you, like, legally cannot. The UN will fight you. Define good. Like, like, I enjoy eating it. Like, a lot of people enjoy eating it. Like, people feel happier when they consume it. Because that, that means... Yeah, people like Mexican food. <laughs> Listen, we made the empire once, we'll make it again. I don't think you can. I think he's saying that the slop they eat in Britain is just non-spicy Mexican because they're both just beans and carbs. Trevor replacing sour cream with mayo. <laughs> Ugh. 
The problem is, is that, like, Europe, uh, not Europe, um, the British never left, like, war rationing. They just became accustomed to it. Also, they have two taps, and that's really weird. Because their water will kill them. Sketty on toast? Oh, no. Mr. Peens on toast. Then it's a sad thing because Europe forcing companies to do better there in UK will not get those benefits. De yeah, they have two taps. Because one tap is dead water, like will kill you, and the other one's like sort of drinkable water. Because they put dead people in the hot water pipes or something like that. I'm not sure. Something like that. It's not. I'm pretty sure it's something like that. It's connected to a boiler. And what do you burn in it? I've seen Sweeney Todd, okay? I've seen Sweeney Todd. I know what goes in your guys' boilers. Eating the Luftwaffe is smooth. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Eating the Luftwaffe is still flying overhead. No. <laughs> Wait, British homes have a non-potable water tap? Yeah, 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 yeah. The cold tap is safe to drink. Yeah, the hot tap isn't because Sweeney Todd. Why the fuck? <laughs> How did you guys not know this? How did I know something you guys didn't? Yeah. They have two taps. It's standard. Wow, ah, okay. They haven't advanced past World War II. World War, World War II literally shut them down. It ended them. They have not advanced past. We drink straight from the tap. Yeah, I drink tap water. Never discovered how to purify water besides boiling in a kettle. Filters, what? You can drink from the bath cold tap and it's clean. Yeah? Okay. You can drink from the bath cold and hot water tap here. I don't know what to tell you, bud. It's all the same water here. We bathe in potable water. Fucking America. Fuck yeah. We can drink our bathtub water. America. Fuck yeah. <laughs> v, are you okay? Yeah? Drinking straight from the tap at 2am is the best. They say not to drink hot water anywhere from the tap. What? Did the stream die? Back in the ILD days, water tanks used to be on the roof and occasionally pigeons or rats would die in the hot water tanks. You were advised not to drink it. This isn't an issue considering most water is from the mains. Our hot water tanks are in the basement. It's true. This tradition dates back to a time when hot and cold water were kept in separate to prevent contamination through cross-connection. Cold water came from main supply and was fit for drinking. Hot water would be serviced on by a local storage cistern often situated in the loft. He drinks her bath water. Isn't that just chicken soup? Oh no. <laughs> Don't tell them my secrets. Wawa Baba. <laughs> Don't tell them my secrets. I love chicken soup. <sighs> At least their homes aren't made of paper and can be busted up by Kyle on Monster. Um, mine's made of plaster, thank you very much. Which I'm pretty sure is just like dirt and glue. <laughs> I think. My house is older than Britain. Oh no, plaster.
Yeah, we're gonna have a blaster over here. Uh -huh. Oh, wait, I want it, I want it to be like an X in the back. I don't think that's like per era, but I don't care. I like X's in the back. Mmm, plaster. They really do. Why are you guys punching walls? What do you what does Britain call their Kyles? Like what is the Britain form of Kyle? The British form, I should say. That's how word. Plaster walls in America are either the mark of wealth or poverty, depending. Oh, it's so true. No life of your average Brexit geezer. My local pub was built in 1643, literally older than your country. Cute. England, you came and survived when it was 75 degrees. Out. You guys, want to know what the temperature was yesterday? It was 77 degrees. It would have killed all of the UK. I was in a sweatshirt. I was in a sweatshirt and leggings. And and the UK is over there drowning themselves in their fountains at slightly lower temperatures. Isn't that crazy? They can't handle temperatures above freezing. Oh no, they'll get pink eye. We're a cold country. Bro, do you know where I'm from? Cold country, my ass. This is why I don't think you'll ever have an empire again. The only reason why you got Canada and Australia is because they're too lazy to get rid of you. I hear Robo laughing somewhere. Off in the distance, Finnish laughter. I can't afford a heating. What? What do you do in the winter? UK doesn't even get that cold though, right? Like, what's your coldest temperatures? What's a record low? I'm looking it up. Record, record low temperature. Temperature in UK. Negative 17 degrees Fahrenheit is your record low. In January 10th, 1980. Negative 17, that is nothing. Kids still go to school in that temperature. That's it. That's the that's the record low. Oh my god. That's nothing. You can't even call yourselves a cold country. That that's warm. That's like wear a jacket and you're fine weather. They do just need to thug it out. Man, you guys. Very cool kids skateboard in that temperature. It's true. My friend in school would still be wearing shorts. <laughs> yep, they were wearing the shorts. <laughs> That's like November weather here, dude. That's when you put the jacket on. He sounds like jealous. <laughs> Your exotic climate. <laughs> I think last year, what was our lowest temp last year? Hold on. Ah, ah, ah. We didn't get that cold in Wisconsin last year, though. Hold on. It's loading. It's loading. Yeah, see, last year was a warm year. Our lowest temperature last year was 19, negative 19 Fahrenheit. But when I, let's see, uh, when I came back from Arizona, the lowest temperature, we hit like negative, what was the lowest? 
Oh, give me a second. I'm going to find it. Digging. So the regular temperature without wind chill was negative 40. And then with wind chill, it was negative 68 Fahrenheit. So I believe negative 40 in Fahrenheit is similar to negative 40 in Celsius. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I don't... <laughs> You guys have nothing to complain about. I don't understand. Just wear extra layers. You're fine. That's nothing. UK doesn't have sun V. They have depression. Maybe that's what it is. You guys are just too depressed to handle that much. Weren't you in the same shit part of Arizona as me? I was in, uh, I was down south. I was right, I was like... I could see the border from my work. <laughs> Listen, we're a small Ireland. We don't have a whole ass selection of Minecraft bios in our land mass to cheat like the US. I'm just talking about my one state. I'm just talking about one state, which is smaller than the UK, okay? At least I think it is. Crazy how we get hotter in the summer and colder in the winter than them, right? <laughs> To be fair, the UK is basically the size of a state. I'm well, how okay. Is the UK compared? Yeah. I need like a picture. Wisconsin is 1.7 times smaller than the United Kingdom. So my state is smaller than your country. It's along the same ish uh wait, la la latitude ish. I believe, if I'm correct, ish, you're slightly more north, and I get, we get colder and hotter temperatures. Weak sauce. Weak sauce. Weak. I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. You get no sympathy from me, that's all I can say. Like, Florida is the only state that keeps pretty even throughout the year. I would include California, but California is like seven biomes by itself. California is also California, though. Like, the people there want to ruin it. So. <laughs> what metric system are you using? We're negative 17 uh, Fahrenheit? California is such a bad place. It's so bad. Yeah, Florida has a lot of sinkholes and Florida man. Yeah, you have to fight the Florida man for the nice weather. That's... <laughs> you just need to experience British coldness. I don't... I don't know. I don't know what the difference would be. I'm assuming it's a moister cold, but, like, I also know what moist cold is like. Because of where I've lived in my state. Florida also gets pounded by hurricanes every four months. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't want that either. It's just hot and muggy all the time. I wouldn't want to live in like Georgia. I feel like Georgia would suck to live in. I feel like Georgia wouldn't be a pleasant place to live. Ask Caboose. Yeah, I don't think Caboose likes Georgia. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> I don't think he likes the weather in Florida. I also don't like big scary bugs, and I feel like Georgia has a lot of those. Yeah, Illinois is cold. I heard your face and cold where everything is wet. It's true. <sighs> Panty pool capital. Yeah, huge spider sound I'm out. I'm out, bro. That was the terrible thing about uh, Arizona was that like the bugs don't die every year, so they keep growing. And they did. I luckily never saw a camel spider. I think, I think seeing a camel spider would actually bring me to tears. Like, I think I would cry.
Camel spiders have huge pinchy bunny mouths. Yeah, I don't think I can handle that. I had a wolf spider in my um, house. My, my apartment. I guess it was more of an apartment than a house. Um, in my apartment once, and it, like, jumped at me. Like, I picked something up, and it jumped at me. And it was, like, significantly smaller than me, but the fact that it jumped at me instead of running away... You know, it's one of those things where they're like, walk the walk the walk and people will believe you. It was one of those things. Like, he walked the walk and I believed that he could kill me. So I ran away. <laughs> and I locked myself in the house. V, can we do a spider tier list? No. No, we cannot. Another reason if you're short people. Or like Deadpool with panties on his face, you know what I mean? Oh no. That's just the, uh, uh, that's just the sister of battles, honestly, is Deadpool with panties on his face. Lady Deadpool with panties. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look at me making funny Warhammer jokes. Is there a Warhammer fantasy version of the sisters of battle? Like, I know they probably wouldn't have, like, the exact same name, but is it, like, like a one-for-one one type, one-for-one-and-a-half type exchange rate? <laughs> I shit myself. Yes, Sisters of Sigmar. That's not true. That's not real. That's not real. I don't believe that that's real. No, they're real? Oh, wow, they are. They are one-for-one. One. Holy shit. Unexpected. Wow. I don't know how I feel about that. Why are all the, like, the sisters mini so ugly? Why can't we have a cute sisters mini? Also, why do they look like they're uh, infected by chaos? Oh, she's, that one's got titties. All right. It's real! I didn't think it'd be real, but they're real. It sounded so fake. Sigma boss because Warhammer nerds have never seen women. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Like who decided like the sisters of battle that like white bowl cut? Who decided that? Who is like, this is good? Like, we have to make them sexy by giving them boob plates, but we can't make them too sexy, so we're gonna give them bowl cuts. <laughs> Game Workshop legit could not, for decades, could not sculpt women. Yeah, why didn't they just sketch Cat? Why? It's true. It worked for me. I'm still angry about it. Hair makes sense, less for Envy to grab onto. But why ugly bowl cut? You can do cute short hair. That's a thing. Why ugly bowl cut? And they all have ugly bowl cut. Alright, hold on, we gotta do more. Yep. He needs tomboy army. I mean, I'm just saying, like, the hair thing, like, I can see the hair argument, but, like, why make it ugly? You know? I don't have the kind of money to throw into Warhammer. For, like, I'd never play it, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to play it. So it's like... You know, to spend the money on it. Like, I would like painting them. Maybe I'd paint them for, like, other people, maybe? Because I like painting them, but I don't want to, I don't want to spend the money myself, you know what I mean? On, like, something, like, I wouldn't use it, so. But I also don't want to take commissions for that sort of thing, because that sounds stressful as fuck. I got a couple of castigators the other day. What is a castigator? Tomboy hair v win. Like, when you say tomboy hair, do you mean like that, like, f fuzzy shortcut? That, like, what, what, da, da, da. 
Like the Tomo Aizawa has? Is that what you mean by tomboy hair? Give me a low take, Rose. All right, we're just gonna draw uh, curls here. Wait, wait, wait. It would be on, oh no, I'll show you. Okay, it's okay. No, 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 wait, hold on. <laughs> hold on, I'm doing this from brain. I'm doing this from brain. I don't like that, like, short haired tomboy hair look, actually. <laughs> I don't think it's cute. I know a lot of people like it, I don't. <laughs> I think some Waymen can pull it off really well, um, but I am not one of them Waymen. You know what I'm saying? Did I just lose a bunch of viewers? Oh, I did. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, Tomboy's good. Tomboy's fine. Come back, everybody. Please, come back. It's fine. It's a good haircut. It's good. <laughs> back. Everybody left me because I said Tomboy hair, not cute. Out here in these streets. No, Shippo is well aware of my opinion on tomboys. He is very, he is almost too aware. I probably have gone into one too many rants at him <laughs> about tomboys. He's very keenly aware of my opinion on tomboys. There we go. Baldy. There we go. I like that. There we go. That's a good ask. That's a good one. I should make that toggle. All right, there we go. Yeah, see, look at that, that looks nice. I should probably do something for shoes. Short hair view would probably be pretty cool though, maybe. I think I would do something like, um, not to be a, a fucking simp, but like how Callie did. Like if I were to do a short hair, like, um, here, I'll show you for those who don't know. Why is it? This picture has really faded colors for some reason, but you get the gist of it. You know how it's like, it's short, but it's like, obviously the bangs wouldn't be the same, but you know, it'd be like this length, like that. She's beginning to simp. I think I do something like that for short hair, I think. You ain't clogs, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> so weird. Yeah, right, let's try to get some shoes in here. No, <laughs> no wooden clogs. You psychos. I feel like hair is common for sword women in anime. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Hold on. This foot's like broken as shit. Hold on. <laughs> oh no, we're repeating songs again. I'm like looking at this reference and it's the same angle that I have leg wise. 
Maybe not exactly. Do you cat trace again if you're having trouble? Yeah, let me just drop a cat foot here. Oh, ow, my back. Ugh. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. As far as like alternative V outfits and stuff. I wouldn't be expecting too many of those, to be honest with you. It, it's uh it's a little weird for me because this uh i'm so like themed as far as like viking stuff goes so it feels weird to put me in other clothing if that makes sense it probably doesn't it's i mean it's more a me thing than anything but it's just So I wouldn't expect too many like additional outfits, if that makes sense. <laughs> Guys ever wanted to know how to draw a heel? <laughs> Boom. It's not it's not perfect. It's not perfect technique, but it's not terrible either. I think I made her foot too big, to be honest with you. Yeah, try cat. No. I don't think cat foot's gonna work here, guys. <laughs> oh, here we're in. I know, I know. Hold on, give me a moment. Hang on, give me a moment. Shoe too big for goddamn feet. You guys wanted fucking clogs. Congrats, you got clogs. What if it looks, what if it works? You're gonna be super mad. It's not gonna work. See, I don't need cat feet. That would be funny. I don't need no cat feet, although this this one looks a little big. Hold on, I'll make this one a little smaller. Oops. No. All right, now I just need to draw these like nine more times. <laughs> or do I? What the heck? Well, now our feet look way too small. Where the heck's, where'd it go? Oh, oh, I see. There we go, bonk. Bonk. 
Ta da! <laughs> Fun fact, in the early 1900s, the price of indoor plumbing was very expensive, so people didn't use it a lot. So imagine this. They, didn't they just, like, they threw it out the window? With clogs, she can't be quiet in a library. <laughs> what? Alright, let's clean this up a little bit here. Wait, no, that's... This right, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, look, she has an ankle, yeah, a little bit of nonsense there because people have skin on their ankles and all that jazz. And then, they, yeah, I know, right? They do, yeah, actually. People do actually have skin in their ankles. That's crazy, isn't it? There we go. Look, guys, two shoes. <laughs> Ta-da! We'll fix that later. <laughs> it's weird. And then we take this one, right? This is how you get stuff done quickly, guys, right here. Flip horizontal. Right? Copy. Flip horizontal. I know I got just some. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm going to erase these. Oh my god. Right? Now hold on. Hold on. This is where it gets belligerent. That, that. Oh god, they're not in the same spot. Shoot. Okay, this one's gotta come down. Actually, they both gotta kinda come down. Right, now, blup, blup, right? Now we already have. Oh. There you go. So we have, like, the, we know the heel is here. So we have a heel, and then you have your actual, no, 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 that's too low. I have the heel here. Blop, blop. And then we know, like, the heel for the shoe is here, right? And we know the toe is here. So we'll just kind of clean this up a little bit. Right? And then we go blop, 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 because this is where it connects. And then... Oh, we should probably put this in the middle of the shoe. And then make this come down a little bit more. Look! Ta-da! You have the back of the shoe! Amazing! <laughs> Hell yeah, just been paid. Ta da! It's just that shrimple. It looks like the Clara's ankles are gonna snap. Just like me, for real, for real. Oh my god, I'm still here!
Now save it. That's really the key is to save the money, right? I'm going to give it to my sister so I don't spend it. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Ta-da! All right, let's zoom out. We have three rough sketches of turns. Ta-da! Oh, my back's gonna pop. Okay, I was thinking about... <laughs> no, stop. I was gonna play a game after this, but I kind of just want to get off stream because it's really hot in my office and I kind of want to just go do other things. So I think what we shall do is we are going to call it a day here. Um, yeah, but we got a lot done, so I'm pretty excited about that in less than three hours, which is pretty neat. Yeah, I need to eat too. I had like my little snackies a couple hours ago, but that was it. So, um, thank you guys so much for coming. I know it's a day stream, and I know it's harder for some of you, so I appreciate it, making it, and hello Europeans and people that sleep at weird hours. Uh, thank you for coming. But yeah, um, I'll have the new schedule out on Saturday. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys on the Discord or on social media, so <gasps> bye bye